Okay, so I got a couple of suggestions of stuff I should do, and one of them was doing a let's play, which not doing let's plays, doing vlogs. Um, not that I would be like against playing a game on a vlog or something, but like video games are a little bit harder to do this with. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. But um, another suggestion I got was just to like get ready with me or get on ready with me videos, which I don't even know what that means, but yeah. You ever get like hungry and you burp because you're hungry, not because like you're full or something? Like I do that. It's, it's gross. But sorry, there's noise. Um, me seeing as I do not wear makeup, me getting unready from work would literally be me getting undressed and then putting on pajamas. So I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> uh, I'm not stripping for a camera. So, well, you know, slightly different. Um, so I'm, I just got home, but I am making food. I make nachos often because I'm lazy and I don't know how to cook. And this literally just putting Doritos on a plate, just laying out one layer of Doritos and then... I I eat a lot of products with cheese, so I have like a ton of cheese. Um, so I just do um, like Kobe Jack or Monterey Jack or something, something like that. Both the white. Oh my god, I'm spilling everywhere. Um, both the white and orange cheeses, and then you just sprinkle it across, and then. Rinse and repeat for a second layer, unless, you know, I'm really not that hungry, which, to be honest, I'm usually that hungry. Um, so yeah, I mean, my nights, basically, unless I make plans, which I rarely do, um, my plans usually consist of me getting home, and letting out my dog, making food, and then just chilling the rest of the night, um, Sometimes video games, sometimes movies, sometimes drawing, sometimes writing, uh, sometimes... I don't know where that train of thought went, but there there was something else there. Um, but usually chilling the night, shower, stuff like that. Um, the other suggestion I got, because I only got like three of them, um, the other suggestion I got was talk about sex, which... No, um, just because I am a girl does not mean I need to talk about sex. So, if you want sex and all of that kind of crap, you came to the wrong person. Not trying to say I'm a virgin or anything like that, because I'm not. But, uh, I got nothing to talk about on the topic. Well, I mean, I've got stuff to talk about on the topic, but, like, I'm not gonna do that for a YouTube video. So, I don't know. Maybe if I, uh got a friend together or something and we were asking each other questions and something about sex came up then that's kind of different than me just being like so let me talk about all of the like sex positions that I've been in no so no <laughs> um I don't need to talk about a man to keep myself preoccupied because I've said it before and I'll say it again I'm not trying to become YouTube famous. I don't care. This is just kind of like, this is honestly kind of therapeutic because it's just getting me talking and maybe it's like talking about stuff that I don't get a chance to talk to other people about because maybe they honestly don't care. And I mean, I'm talking to a camera and like the camera doesn't have feelings. It doesn't give a shit what I'm talking about. So it's, I'm not going to be sitting there worried. I'm like, am I making the camera bored or is this just not interesting? Or do I sound like I'm complaining too much or so on and so forth? Like I'm aware, well, no. Nah. I know a couple people have watched some of my videos because A, like I said, I got suggestions. But um, B, one guy messaged me to make sure to turn my camera sideways, which is why it's sideways today. 
And uh, I know he watched it. Um, not only because, you know, he pointed out to turn my camera sideways, which I'm sorry. I didn't even think about that. It's easier to hold my phone straight up and down. So that's, of course, naturally what I go to is holding it straight up and down. And then, you know, like you're just recording a person. So having it sideways versus like just on the person vertically, like, I don't know, it seems silly to me. But like, then you get those weird white bars. But anyways, um, I knew he watched it because he watched the last one and the last one. If he didn't watch it, I talked about the fact that I have a lot of guys just magically appear in my life from my past and then he laughed and like the message afterwards was like yeah and I realized the irony of me popping up out of nowhere to tell you to turn your camera <laughs> so apparently I was asking for it because after I posted that video like three more guys from my past just popped up out of nowhere I uh, I called that one upon myself I like manifested that shit so Ooh, manifesting things. That's a fun topic. No, ow. Oh, hit my nose ring. Ouch. Stop bleeding those over, okay. Um, not that that should be the limit. Uh, it's, a, it's only bad if it's bleeding. But, you know, I've had it for several months now. And it was really well healed on, like, month two. So, not even month two. It was, like month one and a half. I don't know why my nose healed up really quickly, but my nose healed up really quickly. I know the triple helix isn't healing up quickly because it's three of them right next to each other and it's like a domino effect. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, but it's like a domino effect with more than one piercing right next to each other because one will get like kind of irritated and it'll swell up a little bit which makes the one next to it kind of swell up a little bit because there's pressure on it now which makes the third one swell up a little bit so it's just like it's a vicious cycle so of course those are going to take longer to heal but <clears throat> at the same time like damn like a big difference there I mean your nose has like snot and stuff that's getting on it and like oils for my nose like I have an oily like T or no your T sections up here this area <laughs> around my nostrils so like I would think it would be worse but it like it was healed up really really quickly um but going back to the manifesting stuff oh so just to pop in the nachos after you do the two layers and then I do like three chips right in the middle just so it's kind of evened out it's not like this hole from the plate just kind of being tilted a little bit throw it in the microwave and that's we'll just say a minute and then we'll see how the cheese is it's like nachos are super finicky you either get it right on you get it a little under or it's like burnt and gross but um manifesting so I made my mom laugh so hard when I said I manifested the shit out of the situation so um my family my extended family more on my mom's side they get together once a year and uh, it used to be my aunt from Florida and my uncle from Colorado would come out up here to Minnesota to visit but my aunt has kind of like disappeared off the map like no one's really talked to her for a while now so um but my uncle comes up and every year we celebrate everyone's birthday on the same day because you know we're obviously missing them like everyone's just spread out across the whole year and so we usually do like a DQ ice cream cake and um I went with my mom to go get one and we were having a hell of a time of it because they like they don't label if it's chocolate or if it's vanilla on the outside anymore like and the woman who was helping us was extremely rude and not helpful so she like got irritated that we were asking and was like it's like a lottery pretty much you pick one and it it is what it is like that doesn't seem right what if someone has allergies to something like you need to know what's in these cakes but she she told us that it just depended like the person who made them wasn't there that day and so she couldn't say which they're fucking pre-made so whatever um 
but we get this cake and stuff and my mom asked like if I wanted anything and at the time I'm like no I don't I don't really want anything and honestly I don't want to give them more money than they're already getting from us if that's how they're going to be acting but um we're up at the cash register and shush I'm telling a story um we're up at the cash register and I see them making like a small chocolate ice cream cone and my mom's already in the process of paying but I like I stared at that cone and I'm like I want that cone so bad and I don't know why but in my mind specifically I'm like I want that cone I don't want a bigger cone I don't want a different cone I want that cone that's in her hands right now I want it so bad and uh you know, she goes towards the window because it was for the drive through and everything. My mom grabs the cake. We're starting to head towards the door. And the woman who made the ice cream cone, she comes up to us and she's like, hey, would either of you want this ice cream cone? We made the wrong flavor. I'm like, oh, yes, I manifested the shit out of that. My mom just starts laughing. She's like, you what? I'm like, I manifested the shit out of that. And I explained to her like what was going on in my head. She's like, couldn't you use that for like the lottery or something important so like that chocolate ice cream was important to me at the time so yeah weird things weird things happen but um okay the people above me must have just gotten a puppy and it must be a larger dog but it's like thundering upstairs all the time now. When I first moved in, every day around like between 11 and 12 in the afternoon, um, someone would start playing a drum set up there. And it would be for half an hour to an hour, so they're obviously practicing for something or whatever. And that was every day. That suddenly just stopped. And then earlier this week I think it was it was either this week or like end of last week no I think it was Monday this week it was Monday or Tuesday I am getting ready for work in the morning and all of a sudden I start hearing this dog whimpering and like I've been around dogs for a long time and everything um I could tell it's a puppy and I'm like you know I I assume it's just separation anxiety like it's a brand new puppy everyone's gone now at work like it's sad it's just crying so I'm still every morning getting to listen to this. I'm trying to be nice. It's a puppy. Like you, you can't do a ton about that right off the bat. Like that takes takes some time to, you know, adjust. So I'm like, you know what? That's what they do. Mario, my dog, when I first adopted him, he was two, and he got separation anxiety. I mean, I adopted him. Like he was abandoned at some point. So of course that's a different situation a little bit. But he whimpered. At first, and then after some time of realizing, oh, they always come back to me. Like, they're not just abandoning me here in this, like, little crate. Um, then he stopped whimpering, and now he's perfectly fine to roam the apartment completely free. Well, he's had a couple times. Um, but now every freaking day, just random times throughout the day, into the night, whenever, I can hear just running back and forth in the freaking apartment above me and it is like thunderous and I think some of it's the puppy but I think they also have kids um I don't know which apartment it is if it's the apartment above me or the putty or the putty the apartment that's kitty corner to me and above but one of the two apartments up there has kids I assume it's the one above me because of the thunderous racket every day because I'm sorry, unless you've got a giant puppy, it is not making that much noise while running around. It's going to make noise, sure. And some of the noise I've been hearing is definitely that puppy. But that is a human. That is a homunculus. And I am not thrilled about it. I need to find a new place. I need a new place. I need money first. But I need to get a new place. So, wish me luck on that. I'm going to eat my nachos and enjoy relaxing the rest of my night because it's freaking Friday and I'm on a set schedule so I have the weekend off. Hey! <laughs>